this neighborhood, you would have no idea that this was the family home of Mr. Ted Bundy. So if you look to the right, there's a little blue house. And we're going to walk right by here just in a second. We're going to go back to the car. We're probably going to find somewhere to go swimming, you guys, so follow us. Here we are on Skyline Drive and 9th Avenue. Run! It's biker! We're going to go find somewhere to go swimming. Can we, but can it be in this area? like Somewhere, yeah. Close to here? I don't want to go like back to the beach close to your house. Baby, baby! Look so if you look, it's number 658 Skyline <laughs> Drive. This was the home of... I'll say his name after we pass. So there's a mystery. Many people don't understand how a child such as our grandchildren here in a state of innocence. What happens to a child to make them into a monster? Experts have examined the evidence through interviews, trying to figure out what transformed Ted Bundy into the serial killer who terrorized and tortured human beings. People say that there are demonic entities that live in that house, 658 Skyline Drive. Some of the contractors that work there claim unusual activities, things moving around by themselves. And then in interviews, Ted himself claimed that he was inhabited by something evil, an entity inside of him. So there is some speculation that that entity actually resides in that house that we just walked by. And that at some point as a child, it possessed him. In some of the interviews, he talks about a demon or a dark voice inside of him that entered him a long time ago when he was a child. So there it is, folks. A part of our dark northwest history see y'all later